Hey guys, it's John from Rocky Mountain Man Systems. We've got a really quick video we want to show you on a, a, a seating drone. So um, it's been come up a couple of times on, on being able to do remote seating or remote fertilizing, anything like that, in which we can take the drone, get it out there a little bit further, monitor how much we're seeding and what we're doing, and we're just trying to do a proof of concept idea right now. So hopefully, after, after we've done a little bit of time of setting this up, we have some answers for the industry that keeps asking for this type of machine. So just kind of, so a couple of the things we've done here. Um, it is a standard M600 Pro, nothing different there. Uh, we put a plate, extended this out just a little bit further so we can have an X3 camera mounted on there. So number one, I can kind of see where I'm going. And number two, I can actually turn the camera backwards to kind of monitor to make sure that the, the seed is coming out. On the seeder itself, we just have a, a continuous rotation system running here. It, it's actually activated off the landing gear switch on and off. So the landing gear don't actually function here. They don't come up or down. It, we've taken that and, and uh, stole that PWM output to be, to be able to run on the actual, to run the actual seeder motor. So the hopper on these, if you could take a look at it, it's actually a traditional handheld uh, system, but the hopper has been increased. It's a little bit bigger. There's really no way that we could actually monitor if we were out of seed and we had this thing pretty far away um, how, how much seed was left over if we're running a route or doing anything like that. So I had added an additional FPV camera in the back so that we can set it up to be able to watch the X3 camera on the standard on the uh, uh, GoPro, or I'm sorry, the, um, on the DJI Go app. And then the uh, FPV camera will just be showing as a secondary screen on the Black Pearl. So we just have that coming HDMI out, two cameras set up on this. It's kind of a kind of a, a, a neat system. So let's go take it out and see how she flies. So we're ready to take the ship up. This will be our first test of uh, seeing how this actually runs. Um, again, we've got the uh, uh, seeder on there set up at a, at a certain rate uh, to get the dispersion of the seed out. Um, eventually we'll be doing some mapping and everything else to kind of uh, guide the ship on where it needs to go. But my, what I'm most curious about is at this setting, how much seed is going to come out, how fast they need to move. We've got the X3 on there to record a little bit of that to see kind of what's going on while the ship is moving. So um, here, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we just put the bird down and it seems to be a uh, kind of a working system. Um, we have the, the whole seeder system running. We're trying to, to establish how fast we might need to move or how much rate it needs to come out. There's a lot of little bit of testing that we need to do to further on find out what will be the best way for this application. But at the end of the day, uh, we're able to actually be able to do some remote seeding and that's kind of the most important thing on why we created this system. Uh, fairly easy to fly. The M600 is always such a great system. Uh, the simple modifications that we're able to do here to monitor what's going on and how much F how much seed we have left over. Uh, that all all of these systems seem to work out great today. So all of the testing worked really well. So um, again, if you have any questions on on any of this stuff, make sure you see us at uh, armus.com. Check us out on the Facebook page as well as our what is that thing called? YouTube. Our YouTube. So we'll see you guys next time.